In Creo Parametric, you can create simulation probes of your results in both Creo ANSYS Simulation and Creo Simulation Live. In this video, I'm going to create them in Creo Simulation Live. Here I have an assembly open. You can see that it is right now in the exploded view. Let's click on the icon in order to get it back so it's no longer exploded. To get into Creo Simulation Live, I will click on the Live Simulation tab. And right now we are in a structural study. That's what I want. I don't have any constraints or loads. Let's start off by creating our constraints. I will click on the Fixed icon. And then I'll pick this surface from one component, hold down the control key and select a second surface from the other component, and now click OK. You can see in the graphics area that we have our objects displayed for those constraints. Now let's put in a force. I will click on the force icon and then pick the cylindrical surface that I want it applied to. In the force load dialog box, I need to select a coordinate system. I will pick one of the coordinate systems from the assembly, and I can see it in the graphics area. I want it going up and to the right, so I'm going to make the component one in the y direction and one in the z direction. And for my units, rather than using newtons, I don't have an intuitive grasp of newtons, but that's okay. You can choose whatever set of units that you want. Let's choose pounds force. And I want the magnitude to be 500. That's good. I will click the OK button. And now I have everything set up in order to run the analysis. To get the results, we'll click on this icon in the quick access toolbar, turn the results on or off. And I'm always amazed at how lightning fast Creo Simulation Live is. Here it is a matter of seconds and we have the results for our assembly and I can see where the peak results are. Now that we have run the analysis in order to create a simulation probe you can click on the icon in the ribbon and when I do that you can create a simulation probe on a point or from the drop down list you can choose the maximum or minimum value on geometry and I like to use maximum or minimum so for example I can see the surface where we have our peak stress let's click on the surface and we can see that the surface is listed in the dialog box and we get a note in the graphics area giving us the value at that particular location all right so that's good for the first one and to keep this, I can click on the save icon. You can give it a name, and normally I would rename it, but let's change this. Oh, wait, I'm going to cancel out of here. Right now, this is giving me the maximum principal stress. I don't want that. I want the von Mises. Let's go to von Mises. And now the simulation probe has updated for that value. Let's click on the save button. And now I will click OK. If you take a look in the simulation tree, here we can see that probe has been saved. So that's good for the first one. Let me close this for a moment. Now I will choose from the drop down list. Let's get deformation as well. And so now you can see where we're having the peak deformation. Once again, I can create a simulation probe. And rather than doing on a point, I always like maximum. And then pick the surface that I want we can see the maximum deformation looks like half a millimeter if you click on the plus sign next to details well this is where if you picked a point you could see the x y and z coordinates of it let's save this one and click the ok button and let's see let's do one more yeah let's go back to one of those other ones so you can create a simulation probe for any of the different results. And again, I'm just doing a structural analysis. So these are the different values that we have. Let's go to that maximum principal stress. And for the third simulation probe, let's use a point this time. I'm going to expand details. And let's say that, you know, I'm going to test this and I'm going to put some strain gauges in here. So maybe I want to choose a point where one of my strain gauges is going to be. There we have the value of the maximum principal stress. 
let's hit the save button again and I will accept the default name and close out of here so there you can see the three probes that I created let me go to the model tab and even though I am on the model tab well you can still see your simulation live results that's because we have real-time simulation so if I make any changes to my geometry then the results are going to update and again we've got our different simulation probes visible on the computer screen if you take a look in the model tree again even though we're on the model tab we can see our probes in the model tree and if I don't want to see them well I could say hey let's select this one and then I could choose to hide it and that way that one is no longer visible if I want to see it again let's left click on it and show it once more and again I can go back to live simulation you can also edit the definition of these just go to edit definition and you could change the point where it is located if you wanted to and so that's how you can use simulation probes in a structural analysis in Creo Simulation Live. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindshield.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button and ring the bell to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.